Hello guys, good morning. This is your host Jonathan. Uh, we are still in community quarantine here in Luzon in the country of the Philippines. Uh, today uh, our uh, um, topic is about uh, games uh, and that game uh, that game is about uh, the mobile the mobile game Clash of Clans. I'm going to show you guys how you are going to use a green walk groups. Actually, guys, um, actually, guys, uh, there are a lot of variants of this green uh, walk attack. Um, my version is I am using a uh, bowler in combination with the green walk. Actually, I have seen uh, a variant of Queen Walk yesterday, which is using a baby dragon. So that's another variant. So <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm going to show you how I utilize this uh, Queen Walk attack for Clash of Clans. So I'm go I'm just going to um, I'm just going to replay my my battle lines and then discuss it with you guys so the composition of my queen walk is six wizards eight um, eight healer then 24 bowlers so of course um, my the spell that I am using are So I am using three rage spell, um, two jump spell, and an additional uh, one poison spell. So let's proceed, guys. I'm just going to uh, replay my attack logs, battle logs, so that I can post it for you and then dis discuss it, discuss it for you how I utilize this um, powerful green walk attack <coughs> so let us try this um, one star attack 58% So guys, um, before we continue the discussion, the first thing that you need to know when using a queen walk, uh, you need to identify where, where is the eagle ar artillery or the town hall itself. If the eagle Ar uh, artillery or the town hall is close to 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 a side like for in, like for like for example this one uh, it, I think it is closer to this um, bottom right side that's why I started my attack at the uh, bottom right side hold on guys okay moving on um, with this uh, queen walk attack I'm always uh, deploying the queen first followed by the warden and then I'm always supporting the queen with um, four healers or six healers depending on the strength of the base that you are attacking and then uh, after I deployed the, this queen warden and healers um, I'm, go I'm going to observe them if they are, if they are going to, to take the left path or the right path if I already knew 
if they are going to the left or right then that will be the time that I'm going to deploy my other troops so guys uh, most of the time uh, I in this attack we just need to clean up the both sides of the the, the base such as this one so I'm cleaning the queen and warden is cleaning up this this side of the base and then if they are going rightward to their to their to, to the right I'm going to deploy the bowlers here so let's play again So there you go guys, um, the queen took the right path so I'm going to have to deploy my, bar my bowlers here at the right. The purpose of this uh, style of deployment guys is to clean up the, the uh, two corners of the of the base so that I can deploy my troops all my troops at the center of the, the base just to make them uh, to, to force them to take the center part okay let's play that again there guys see that when I when I already identified that the queen is going to the to the, the to the to the right, that's the time when I deployed these bowlers here at the right. So usually I am deploying four to five bowlers in this uh, in this corner. It depends on the strength of the builds, and then I'm, I am supporting it with the with two healers. So moving on. Okay. Once the the both sides of the base is um, cleaned up, that is the time when I started to de deploy all my troops. But before that, uh, we we need to deploy first the jump spell. Two of them, actually, guys. Two jump spells. So moving on. There, guys. Uh, after deploying the um, jump spell, I immediately followed it by deploying the um, uh, what they call this troop battle ram. Then followed by the the king. And then uh, once they got in inside, I immediately uh, buff my troops with uh, rage spell. And then you notice guys that I already um, uh, that I already um, used the ability of the warden. But before that. Uh, uh, before I use the ability of the warden, uh, I'm an, I am always using it before, after I use the ability of the king, so that the barbarians that being spawned by the king is protected by the, the warden's uh, ability. And again, uh, you see that, guys. Um, 
balloons came out of the clan castle so you need to watch out for that uh, troops coming out the, of the clan castle so that's the purpose of the um, poison spell of, on this attack so once uh, once once there are troops that came out of the clan castle and you need to uh, counter it with a poison spell and by the way guys uh, you may know already that um, poison uh, slows down the, the movement of the troops inside 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 moving on I think I actually messed up with this attack guys uh, as you can see uh, there is a as you can see guys uh, if you notice there is still a poison spell left in in my troops uh, I think I messed up in this attack uh, I should have deployed this uh, uh, poison spell early, earlier so that it can counter the balloons that came out of the clan castle so moving on And by the way guys the as I am using this screen walk uh, attack I noticed that the only down, downside of this uh, this troop combination is the timing of the deployment of your troops uh, if you mess up in deployment de 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 deploy deploying of your troops uh, there is a chance that you will lose the, the attack so you need to uh, you need not to mess up with the the deployment of your troops in short uh, deploying of your troops need not to be delayed so uh, once your troops are delayed in deploying to, for the support of the entire uh, attack for the for this uh, queen walk attack uh, then there is a possibility that you will lose the attack so um, after you deployed the bowler at the the right side or the left side of the left side or the right side corner of the of the of the base uh, you need to immediately uh, uh, I by the way um both side has to be cleaned up first of the both corners of the base that you are attacking, attacking need to be cleaned up first um, and then you can deploy your your um, uh, jump spell then followed by the 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 king and the um, what they call this what is this stroke again wall wrecker okay so let's play another play again so let's 
uh, replay this uh, to a star 77% Okay, so first twin warden, then four pillars. You see that, guys. Uh, once I knew that the queen is taking the right or left path, that's that's the time when I. Uh, that's the time that you can. Uh, deploy your um, bowlers here but wait guys uh, you have to really uh, identify first if the queen is going to the right or to the left so let's play that again so the queen uh, goes right and then I immediately followed followed it by deploying four bowlers at the right uh, supported by two healers there moving on play that play again and then if I if you can see that uh, both corners of the base is getting cleaned up you can now deploy all your troops and then on this base um, it is actually an open base so as you can see there is no wall uh, separating the the buildings in this uh, portion so if there is a wall separate wall separation in this corner in this part of the base uh, the first thing that I am going to deploy in this uh, portion is the the jump spell but since there is no wall separation in this corner uh, I immediately uh, deployed my wall wrecker and the barbarian there the barbarian and the wall wrecker so play again and there guys um, as I am um, telling you earlier uh, you need not to mess up in deploying all your troops once you deploy the wall raker and the, the king you should have to you need to uh, deploy all your bowlers immediately so play again and then once they get inside of the base that's when I back them to the um, red sister so red, red sister again and then uh, you notice guys uh, I, I also deployed a uh, jump spell on this part of the base see that guys just to make sure that the bowlers will get inside to where the uh, town hall is located play that again okay uh, let's uh, Let's play another battle lag again. So, let's try this uh, 60% one star attack. Queen Warden for healers. Okay, guys, uh, this is this uh, there is a critical part of this attack as you can see uh, the life of my queen uh, immediately burned out 
So it's almost uh, 75%. Okay, so you need guys to uh, watch out for this because if you uh, let this uh, attack uh, push forward without buffing the queen and the healers with a uh, rage spell, the queen will die. So moving on. See that guys, I immediately deployed a rage spell to cover the queen and the healers but um, the essential uh, uh, essential part of this deployment of rich spell is that the most I mean uh, the, the most important uh, is a, uh, aspect of this uh, rage uh, deployment is the is the healers you need those healers to be inside the rage spell so that it heals the queen quickly so moving on see that guys if I do not uh, buff them with uh, rage spell the queen may have died uh, immediately on this uh, initial attack And then, as you can see, guys, they are uh, walking through their through their left. So my next attack deployment is in this corner. Okay, moving on. See that, guys? I immediately um, deployed five bowlers in this corner, um, supported by two healers. And by the way, guys, um, um, I'm always um, very wary about the queen when I deployed my troops to the other corner of the base just to make sure that the queen will live and, and will not die uh, I am always uh, buffing them, them with a rage spell before I deployed my other troops in this corner but since the since the queen and the warden and the four healers already uh, but with the with a rage spell uh, there's no need to deploy another uh, rage spell so moving on so there guys um, if the base that you are attacking is uh, super, uh, protected by uh, by walls um, you need to identify first where to deploy your um, jump spell so in this case I, I deployed my two um, jump spells in this portion of the base just to force my troops to get inside of this portion of the base so moving on so there guys uh, after deploying the two jump spells I immediately followed it, it by deploying the wall raker and the barbarian. So play again. So as you can see guys, um, I immediately deployed all my all my troops after deploying the wall raker and the barbarian play again and then batting them then with uh, rage spell and then one essential aspect of this attack is the combination of the uh, skill of the barbarian and the warden <coughs> I'm always um, using the skill of the warden before 
after um, uh, after I activated the um, ability of the king just to protect the barbarians that that is spawned after activating his ability so moving on then rage again duman na kuyo lubin kanina so i back then with the rage again So there you have it, guys. Uh, there's uh, that. That is how you are going to utilize this kind of uh, attack, which is commonly known as screen walk. Um, this uh, this attack is a high percentage uh, win rate attack. Uh, most of the time, I always get, get uh, one star, two star, and. Um, once in a while, three stars on a good, uh, good basis. So let's play another uh, replay for my battle lag. Let me see. Okay, uh, let's use, uh, let me see, let's use this replay, 50%, 1 star, I think this is a difficult attack, so uh, let us see. So, uh, again, Queen Warden for healers. As you can see guys, the light of the queen uh, immediately fell less than 50%. So you need to really watch us. Just watch out for the queen because if you do not, uh, the queen will die. So at this moment, uh, you need to immediately buff them with the red spell so that uh, the queen will not die. Spell. and then they took the left path so I'm going to deploy my bowlers here moving on oops um, sorry guys uh, I thought <laughs> I thought the queen is going to the left but it seems that she she changed her path and she's She's gone to the right. Okay, play again. Okay, so she took the right path. Then I, I deployed bonus here, 45. Supported by uh, two healers. And then, once, as you can see, guys, uh, both corners of the base is cleaned up there that's when that's the time when you need to immediately deploy your uh, jump spell if the base that you are attacking is protected uh, or inside inside walls so moving on Corrector, barbarian and then I immediately followed it up by deploying me, deploying all the bowler. So moving on. <laughs> As 
as you can see guys uh, the last deployment of this Finwalk uh, attack is the wizards I always um, deployed them the last they are the last to be deployed the wizards so as you can see guys um, this attack uh, may have messed up if you mess up in deploying all your troops or you deployed your troops um, okay um, <clears throat> this attack may have messed up guys if you did not uh, immediately deploy all your troops just like what I do so let's play this again So just keep in mind guys that the only drawback of this uh, Queen Wake attack is the troop deployment. Once you delay in deploying your supporting troops such as all the bolos after your attack, the base that you are attacking has been cleaned up on both sides, your attack will mess up. So you see that guys um, I deployed all my troops in quick success And as I as I am saying guys uh, this attack may have uh, result in a loss if I uh, deployed my troops in a late manner so there you have it guys that's how you are going to utilize this kind of attack the queen attack uh, queen walk attack uh, next time i will I will um, upload another video for this uh, type of attack again. So take care guys. Bye bye. Be safe.